Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading. A couple of days left of Virgo season then we move into Libra season. There is a new moon occurring in Libra on the 25th or 26th depending on where you are in the world and your message is come out of the closet. Now this new moon wants to restore balance and harmony in your life in some way, restore some sort of equilibrium, a partner or partnership or another person may be involved with this whether it's about that person or whether it's about them helping you with something that's been out of balance in your life but you've got come out of the closet which may suggest that is there something on your chest that you need to say or something about you that you're getting messages to reveal that the universe is asking for more of you. You know, you've just gone through, you're in your season at this moment in time, the solar energy is just coming in, recharging your battery, shining the light, uh, asking you to radiate and shine who you are out into the world, Virgo. And there's parts of you that have been kind of pushed away or in the closet or just kind of in the shadows in some way that is ready to come out now. It's ready to be seen, ready to kind of reveal them itself to the world or to somebody else. So yeah, there's more of you being more being asked of you to reveal more of who you are. It may just be that you've had something on your mind that you wanted to say or there's been some feelings that you wanted to kind of express or just something you wanted to kind of express in some way that's coming out. We've got Eight of Shells, Quest and Renewal coming in as a situation. So I feel like by doing this, this energy that wants to kind of come up and out and wants to be seen in some way and validated and heard, whatever this is, this come out of the closet energy, this is really going to help you uh, renew a, in a deep emotional sense. This could even, it feels like, like you've got quest and renewal. So the eight, this is the eight of shells, which is the eight of cups. And it's this beautiful little seashell here. I mean, star, starfish is what I'm trying to say. This beautiful little starfish here, which is very unique. It's about connecting to your uniqueness, loving you for who you are, letting go of old energies that are not fulfilling, that for whatever reason have like, yeah, not allowed the, your uniqueness to ch to shine in this world. And so there's something about you that is coming out ready to, ready to kind of be seen, which is really lovely, this very individual, unique energy of you. So I feel like, yes, there's this deep emotional renewal that comes with it, which is really lovely. So let's see what is shifting and changing. It feels safe. It feels like a safe time for this to happen. It feels supported by the universe, which is nice. It does feel like there's a lot of love and connection around with this. So there's people around that you can uh, seek out for support with it to kind of go, well, maybe we're going through the same thing or maybe you can help me with getting the confidence to kind of step into this or to to do this that what's been asked of you so yeah it's it feels like there's some there's potential for somebody to be by your side which is actually really lovely so let's see what's shifting and changing this week virgo we've got sword three uranus libra which represents wounds and sword seven venus aquarius okay so yeah, this is restructuring boundaries or restructuring like your daily routine. Something has been hurting you, wounding you. Something has not been making you happy in some way. And so if there's something really bothering you, maybe it's time to kind of speak up or let somebody know. Um, maybe there's something that you've been holding yourself back that it, that wound has come up to be cleared this week, which is really fantastic. So I do feel like, yeah, that there's a... Uh, some kind of strategy and plan that could be shifting and changing in your world. There's kind of been a, a re-evaluation about some of your wounds that you've been holding and how that has been either holding you back or stopping you from doing things that you really love or saying and kind of how fulfilling that's being. It's really a step of, it's stepping into fulfillment is where it's it's heading towards. So yeah, these little parts of you that have been hidden away or locked in the closet are going, we're not happy being locked away. We want to come out. We have as a situation the temperance card. So this is beautiful. This is the card of health and 
balance being restored, harmony being restored, things starting to go with the flow again, new paths are opening that are more aligned. You can, so it's healthy balances in your life, restoring that beautiful health and harmony. So it can re represent health care as well with the temperance energy, but it, it's, it's patient, it's calm, likes to restore calm as an alchemical shift. You might be thinking about dipping your toe back in with something, which is why we're getting the come out of the closet energy. Let's see the consequences of this oh the ace of pentacles so there is something new starting a new opportunity that they want you to be open to nurture to receive to see what this is that's coming through this could be a new cycle that is doing something really new that or something really nourishing for you and nurturing for you related to your health absolutely or healthier balances in your life absolutely beautiful uh, energy to come in around that now the ace of pentacles could be you know to do with starting up your own business or launching something or you know money cycles around money or home but it's just bringing in this energy of health and balance that comes through with it which is really lovely Major external factors, we've got the five of swords. There has been conflict around, uh, especially inside your mind. Perhaps you just you are conflicted about something or have been complete, conflicted about something. Uh, perhaps it is about like these restoring these healthy balances and what parts of you want to come out of the closet in order to do that. that. Have you taken on too much of something? Um, perhaps with the best of intentions, have you bitten off more than you can chew at this moment in time? And the universe is saying, come back, restore and, and take a break of some sort. Is there been some sort of fight or fallout with the five of swords or conflict with somebody else? Sometimes that comes in where you're just not resonating with other people. So, uh, yeah, that conflict is actually, and we can see the moon energy, this is going to be a really positive energy coming through, this new moon energy. But, yeah, we can see that there's potentially been a conflict that has precipitated something in your world that's going to restore balance. So it's kind of one of those weird blessings in disguises. So let's see what the fairies have to say. Oh, we'll turn the singer of the chalice. There's a couple that have snuck around. They wanted to be seen. They came out of the closet. It was the the pixie who was uh, the fairy who was kissed by the pixies, which is like sending a whole heap of love and blessings to you that wanted to be seen. So there's blessings around you or love coming to you that wants to be seen. And yeah, the other one was singer of the chalice, which is to be open to receive this um, beautiful love and healing as well, which is really nice. So we also have, so they were really cute little ones that wanted to come out of the closet. They were just like poking their heads out, which is why I'm reading them. But these are the main ones that are coming in. It'll be the retriever. There's a lot to do with communication here. Uh, clear communication, honest communication, deep communication, uh, saying what's on your mind, saying uh, even saying it out, setting an intention. Uh, there's something coming back to you that is helping you clear that throat chakra of yours, which is about your expression of who you are, which is really lovely. We've got La Squana, which is, gives you pause for reflection. So there's something beautiful. It's interesting. This is like the pearl that's coming back to you. Trust your intuitive messages. Both of these are really tuned into their intuition. But the pearl always starts with an irritant, <laughs> with this five of swords. One little irritant over a long period of time can cause the pearl. But there's something really beautiful that that's a part of you that wants to be expressed. So, yeah, there is... Trust those intuitive messages. Trust what it is that you get. It's very sensory as well. You might feel this through your body. You might get it through like the five senses, just this feeling of the winds of change. And now's the time to be speaking up or expressing what it is that you need to express. But it feels very sensual and lovely and sensory. And so just trust. It's really kind of connecting you back to your body. That's a really important energy to come back with this. So... Let's see. So it might be nice, whatever it is that your body likes, might be good to do something like that this week as well. So let's see. Let's pull an animal energy for you, Virgo, and see what's coming in, what's coming through for Virgo. A few of them, they're like trying to poke out there. Here we have it. Okay, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Dolphin and firefly, love, inspiration, joy, moments of joy, happiness, inspiration, playfulness, bliss. Absolutely lovely, both of these energies coming through. So 
just take some time out to enjoy these things, the things that bring you that. They might only be like, you know, they don't have to be, if you're busy, (laughs) these are fleeting moments, you know, fleeting moments of joy, playfulness, bliss, uh, that can actually just take the edge of everything and connect you to uh, something that brings a smile to your face. So it's just a beautiful energy. There could be someone around you that just makes you happy or an idea that gets you inspired. There's a warm glow energy that is dolphins looking at the firefly and just it makes it happy. Just feeling it, sensing it, seeing it <laughs> or this whatever this is, whether it's a person, a thing that you've created or something in your life, there's something that's coming in that's going to give you those little moments of happiness, which is really lovely. So Yeah, I just keep getting bring a smile to your face, bring a smile to your face, which is actually going to bring health, which is actually really lovely. So let's see. Let's finish this off with an affirmation card for you, Virgo. Affirmation card for Virgo. What does Virgo need to hear? They all went a bit crazy. You've got to get them back into order. Here we have it. Okay. I'm totally adequate for all situations. This is the positive affirmation and in, in, and intention they want you to put out so if you're putting your hand up for something you normally wouldn't like come out of the closet you're totally adequate of course you can do this I am one with the power and wisdom of the universe I claim this power beautiful and it is easy for me to stand up for myself okay so yeah I feel like there's something that you're kind of that you might feel a bit awkward or uncomfortable doing but you're standing up for yourself and it's kind of going to bring that, restore some sort of balance and harmony and equilibrium. So interesting. So that's it. And then it's got this lovely sense of health and new cycles beginning, playfulness, bliss, quest renewal, absolutely a lot of beautiful energy coming in for you, Virgo. So that is your reading for the week. Love to hear how this is resonating. So please leave a comment and also please like, subscribe, share. If you're interested in any of my other services, the link for my readings and healings are in the description box below. And yeah, please take care.